Hello everyone, welcome to another QuickBooks tutorial with AC QuickBooks Training. Today we're going to learn how to create bank rules in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. In this company file, they receive Amazon transactions as deposits. So what I want to do is I want to tell QuickBooks that every time there's an Amazon transaction um, coming in as a deposit to record it to a certain customer and to record it to a certain account. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, I have noticed that these transactions have AMZN for Amazon and then a whole bunch of letters or numbers after it. And it also has marketplace. So in every transaction that comes through, I can see that. But I cannot copy the exact same description as the bank fees because every transaction after AMZN has different numbers and letters. So let's create a bank rule. Let's click on bank rule at the top left corner. And then on the right hand side, in the green button, let's click new rule. So we get this. So let's go ahead and enter the information. I'm going to put Amazon income as the name and it's money coming in all bank accounts or you can select the bank accounts that you want to go into. And this is a criteria. We have to select what we want uh, the transactions. Do we want any transaction or all transactions? I'm going to select all transactions with a certain condition. My condition is that if it contains AMZN, I'm going to paste it, AMZN, I want it to go to a certain ven uh, a customer in a certain account. But I also want to add another condition. I want to add and bank test uh, text. I'm going to have it also say if it contains marketplace. Let's see. Let me redo that. Yeah, it doesn't have an E at the end. So I want it to say marketplace. Okay. And I want it to go to, it's a deposit. The payee is amazon.com. And the category is product income. And after I've done these conditions, I'm going to hit save at the bottom right corner. And there's my bank rule. It says if it contains AMZN, I want it to go to payeamazon.com and category product income. So let's go back to the income and see if anything has happened. And there it is. All the transactions that contain those conditions have that rule in it. So now I can just go and select and I can be sure that it's going to be recorded to the right payee, as we could see here, amazon.com product income, regardless of what the confirmation after AMZN is. And that's how you record or create bank rules.